Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today I'm talking about cabbage moths. If you grow broccoli, cauliflower, kale, collards, any of the brassicas, you may likely have a problem with the cabbage moth. That's that white moth you see flying around sometimes. The problem isn't the moth, it's the larvae, it's the caterpillar, and those things are nasty. And in the fall, especially, you can kind of forget about treating things, so I just want to remind folks to use spinosad. It is organic. It's a great product to use on your brassicas. What will happen is the larvae of the moth will eat a little bit of the leaf, but they'll get, ingest some of this and then they'll basically die and they won't be able to eat anymore. So that's what you want to use on your things like collards. I want to show you how bad the damage is. So you can see all the holes. That's because of that cabbage moss. So that's one way to recognize it. It could also be slug damage, but because of the way that it's eaten, I can tell that it's a cabbage moth. One thing you may notice is the poop of the caterpillars, and yes, it's all over the place. And you can see that little balls of green or brown or black right around the base of the plant. That's an indication you have one of those larvae. They're green and they really blend in, so you have to look for them carefully. You can also try to kill them by hand, but I use the spinosad. This can be a real problem and it can do a lot of damage to your plant in a very short period of time. So if you have damage on your brassicas any time of the year, but I'm noticing them here in fall, it may be the larvae of the cabbage moth that's really doing a number on your plants. Spinosad, that's the thing I treat them with. So we've talked about the cabbage worm here, which is the green one, but then we've got this other larvae here, and this is a serious problem. This is called the cross-striped cabbage worm, and that's the smaller one with the yellow band on it. So these are part of the major caterpillar pests that attack your plants, and the striped one tends to be the worst in the fall. Uh, I'm really, again, recommending that you use the spinosad there. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.